Hello, this is going to be a healing reading, okay? So I had been talking about doing readings with the White Light Oracle um, as like a healing uh, modality. And I think that's what we're going to do today. So um, I am going to draw two of the Unicorn Oracle cards for us first. And then we'll do the healing card and do the little healing um, ritual together on here to sort of create some sacred space of peace. And if you guys like this, then I will continue to do them. Like if they get enough views and likes and comments. Okay. So we have, oh my gosh, we have healer. <laughs> you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities and stay true to your path as a healer. For sure. I think that's a definite, definite sign that me doing this healing reading is necessary, right? If that's not a synchronicity, I don't know what is, guys, right? It's literally saying that, um, you know, we're healers. So we need to keep doing this past lives wow so right now we're doing a lot of releasing of past life karma um it's saying that you know we're old souls if you're watching this you're definitely an old soul that um is releasing your past life karma and to do all of that releasing of our karma it takes a lot of work it's a lot it can be very painful it can be um, very traumatic to go through those memories and not just release those past life karmas, but also the karma now and the karma of our ancestors, right? It takes a lot of courage, you know, to face your shadows, to heal them, but not only to heal yourself, but also to help the collective heal. And doing so helps you to raise your vibration and also to raise the vibration of the collective. So we're definitely on the right path. You cannot make these synchronicities up. It's 227 on my phone. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pull this healing card and see which one we get. I'm pulling from the White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild. She's phenomenal. And the artwork is by Andrew Gonzalez, I believe. Let me see. Artwork by Andrew Gonzalez. I love this deck. I think it's beautiful. I think it's healing. And, you know, I never really did readings like this on my channel because I thought that people wouldn't enjoy them and nobody would really tune in. And I just decided, you know, who gives a shit? This is what I like to do. I love to help. I love to heal. And this is what I do for myself on a daily basis. And it keeps me grounded. It also keeps me focused on my ascension journey. And if it helps me, then I know it's going to help you all as well. It's very calming to the soul to be able to do these healing rit rituals. Um, you know, at least try to do them once a day. But even if you can't do them once a day, to at least do them once a week in order to stay connected to the divine source within us all right okay what is the one we need to know from um source god we have oh god i can't even pronounce this Ana pausis Ana pausis i hope i'm saying that right it's number four if that's not angelic guidance i don't know what is look at this card it's absolutely freaking stunning i've I just, I love it. All right, so let's, we're going to, I don't know what these cards mean because I'm not familiar with this deck. I don't do it enough. So let's read it right from the book. And then we're going to do the healing process at the end. There's a healing process at the end of each of these um, cards. And they all have a different healing process that you can do at the end of the card. So that's what I mainly want to focus on. Um, along with the message of the card. Wow, this is a long message for this card. Do not give up, but allow your heart to disengage from your struggles. Hold on. Give yourself some much needed rest. You're in a phase of recovery. 
If you've been off your path, you're going to come back very strong. You will reg regain your spark of passion, inspiration, and devotion. A certain order of events needs to take place for your soul path to come to fruition. Commit yourself to your sacred journey, trusting that the right thing will happen at the right time. So it's time to rest and to allow your body to heal, okay? It says the Greek word anupausis refers to the cessation of work, which means cessation means to stop, okay? So that one can regain strength renew vitality, and heighten creative product productivity. It is a rest for success. <laughs> the oracle, that's for you guys, not for me. <laughs> I keep getting this as well, and I just keep ignoring it because, you know, I have goals, and I have, I, I cannot just be still. Like, I love, tarot's my life. And if I'm not doing tarot, I just feel really restless. So there will be no resting for me. <laughs> um, the oracle of Anup, Anup Oh, God, Anapasis advises physical, emotional, and psychological rest to reset yourself. That might mean switching off without fear or guilt. It is likely to mean giving up worries and the constant replay of anxiety-ridden speculations. Find some spaciousness and pleasure within and around yourself so that you may experience healing and renewal. If you have been considering working with a healer, this is confirmation to pursue, pursue such a path. The oracle also recommends finding spiritual rest, even if you are still working hard. Spiritual rest happens when we take sanctuary in the sacred. See, this is what we're doing right now, guys. We're going to find sanctuary in the sacred. And this is exactly what I was talking to you about. So even if you cannot fully rest, like some of us are working nine to five jobs. Some of us are working doing this work, which is, you know, work to help the collective. And whatever work you're doing, if you can find time once a week or even once a day, even better, to make a spiritual reset by, like it said, taking time to find sanctuary in the sacred, then you're on the right path, right? We give up trying to be something or other and instead tend fully to the task at hand, completely engaged in the moment. When we do so, we are trusting that the universe knows what it's doing and that we are part of a greater unfolding plan. In modern culture, we can aspire to become someone, someone visible, someone influential, someone powerful, or someone important. Yet, no matter how much worldly or even spiritual power a person may appear to have, the idea that one person is more important than another belongs to the realm of ego. This is true, you guys. We are all equal in the eyes of God. Spirit loves and respects all beings equally. See, Spirit, uh, God, Source, the all respects and loves us all equally. What our world needs are more people who are spiritually connected to their hearts. As you become such a being, others will seek you out. You don't need to set yourself up as being anything at all. You can enjoy the relief of giving up any obsession with appearances or external validation Instead, dive deep into the nourishing inner realm of your own soul with trust in all that is and all that shall be. Free from distracting and disempowering pursuits, you may connect, rest, and restore yourself with a real sense of your spiritual beauty, value, and presence. In the space of restful immersion, you realize that you are enough. Anupausis brings special guidance for those who have been going through deeply challenging struggles of the mind, body, and soul. Perhaps you feel exhausted, confused, and afraid. Even if you are going strong in the outer world, you have a need for spiritual convalescence. You are encouraged to allow yourself adequate rest and to engage in activities geared towards your healing.
sorry, I had to need, I needed some water. Actually, I'm not sorry. You know, your body needs what it needs. All right. This oracle recognizes there is something you have been working hard to bring into being. With a little more trust in your spiritual connection, you'll find the way easier and more joyful. You don't need to push yourself so hard. Spirit can sustain you through your devotion and commitment so that every effort you make is more than matched by the inflow of spiritual grace. Don't allow your mind or the deranged ways of this world to create weariness and yet another drama. Take rest in the spiritual lights of love. Rest from fear, rest from anxiety, rest from needing to work it out all right now. Even on your most confusing or most productive days, you can find renewal in spirit. It is always available to you, even right now. Okay, so I'm going to... Ooh, it's 11, 11 on my phone. You can't make it up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this really quickly so we can get into this healing process. So we're going to go ahead and get into the healing portion of this reading. I want you to go ahead and close your eyes and take some deep breaths. Slowly breathe in and breathe out. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Relax your body. Now I want you to imagine, feel, or intend that you are being bathed in radiant white light. It gently but effectively removes tentacles of attachment that your ego has generated. It allows you to effortlessly release false viewpoints, or misguided interpretations of events. It gently cleanses and aligns your visions and desires so they are in harmony with your heart and the universe. This brings you back to your true self. You can relax and allow this realignment to happen naturally in the spiritual light. As you surrender the real restlessness of ego, you can settle into the loving, inner loving ground of your beautiful heart. There is much for you to receive. You need not chase after anything or anyone, nor is there a need to fret or worry. Now is the time to rest in a place of love and trust. Rest for as long as you need and then ground yourself with a deep breath in and out. And you've completed your healing process. Come back to center whenever you like and drink some water. I love you.